Hey y'all, today we're gonna sublimate on the bottom of one of these tumblers, so stick around. Hey y'all, if you don't know, my name's Roy. If you don't care, my name's Harold. Today, we're gonna sublimate under the bottom of a tumbler. And you can add any information that you'd like, instructions, promotions, whatever. I normally add our website, but since I'm gonna share this file with you, I opted to keep it generic. So what we're gonna to do to make this happen is, we're gonna create the design, then we're gonna print it and then sub it. And the sizing is really important here. So there are a couple of ways to get the exact size. One, these can come in quite handy and get a very accurate measurement. It's called a caliper, and I'll put a link in the description for you to purchase it if you'd like. However, you can also use one of these handy little tools. So to make this happen, we need to make a circular design that needs to be just the right size. Both the outside and inside diameters are really important. You need to account for any curves. This particular tumbler that I get does have a nice little curve to it. So you wanna make sure that you are, um, you are taking that into account. Uh, you wanna basically, we're gonna sublimate on anything that would touch the surface when you set it down. Now I've already measured mine and I've got an exterior measurement of 2.7 inches and an interior measurement of 2.28 inches. So let's go to the computer and make the design. I have created a new file that is eight and a half by 11 and 300 PPI. I already have a background layer that's white. I'm gonna create a new layer and select the rectangle tool and then uh, select the clips tool, make sure that I've got it on fixed size, and then I'm gonna put my um, outside uh, circle size, which is 2.7 inches, I'm gonna um, create a circle. And then I'm gonna simplify that. So now I wanna create another circle that's gonna be slightly larger. So I will do a fixed size of 2.75, and I changed the, the color to black <clears throat> to be able to tell a difference. So I've created that second one, simplify it, and then I'm going to put these two together and that blue circle, the outside of that blue circle is going to be my um, outer dimension. And I am 100% sure that I'm doing this in a much more complicated way than it probably can be done. It's the way I taught myself, so this is the way I do it. What I'm basically doing is creating a black outline. So. I can select the magic wand tool and then highlight that blue, then go over to the black layer and hit delete and it'll take out the entire inside. And then I can just delete the blue layer. And I'm left with the outer diameter of the bottom of our tumbler. So now I want to do sort of the same thing for the inside. Uh, I'm going to use fixed size on my eclipse tool this time using 2.28 as my um, diameter because we know the text needs to fit within there. This time I don't have to create a lined circle. I can just use that blue circle as my template. So basically this is the guide for putting text in. So we're gonna start with some text and you can put whatever you want here. I'm uh, gonna start with do not microwave. And then we wanna set this text down, put it above the other layers. And then it's gonna take you a little bit of time to get this uh, to the right size. For this, I wanted it to be not quite as tall. And then once you have it to where you think it's uh, the right size, you wanna make sure it's highlighted and then click on the text box and then select warp text. And you're going to select arc and it defaults at least on mine to plus 50 so you just need to play around with that to get it to fit within the parameters that we have and then once you have it where it looks good i like moving it out of the way and then we're gonna duplicate that layer and add something else each time you do this because the length of that text is going to be different you want to go back to text and warp text and adjust that arc uh, so that it fits perfectly. These are very similar in size, so there should be very little uh, difference, but you'll notice as we get to some of the um, other text, it will vary a little bit. So we'll duplicate that one and 
and we'll add more text. This one looks to be a little bit longer, so I might need to adjust that arc a little bit more. And you'll need to play around with the, um, the percentage of that uh, arc with all of the text that you put. So now we're just going to fast forward through all of the text. But I did want to point out um, this one word, enjoy. You see how I need to adjust that percentage down because it's a shorter piece of text. So you will have to play around with all of them to get the, um, the right percentages so it bends appropriately. Now I want to import a design that I found to use as a spacer between the different words. And you can use anything. You can use a, um, a period. I know as I was playing around with an earlier version of this, when I first tried to do it, I used a heart. It was a red heart. I did not love the red being on it, but you can use whatever you want. I just happened to have found this and thought it would be um, a good spacer for the text. And once you get that spacer the right size, we can begin building this design. We just want to take these different pieces of text and place them in our guide. And make sure you duplicate those little spacers. And then we're just going to take each one of these pieces of text, put a spacer between it, make sure I like to take the spacer and make sure that it is um, facing the inside and then just uh, adjust these, um, these pieces of text. We know they're going to have the right arc. We just have to place them uh, correctly around the circle. And you might have to add some text or take some text away or give yourself more space between each section of text. I'm initially laying all of this out and as I get almost through building it, I realize that I don't think all of this is going to fit. So I'm going to have to get rid of something and it looks like enjoy is going to have to go away. Bye bye joy. Okay, so this is what we're going to go with. What I'm going to want to do now is hide that inside circle and the outside circle. And then I'm going to duplicate all of that text and the spacers and then merge those so I have one new layer. And then I can copy and paste that so we have multiple stickers. And now we'll print it out and cross our fingers that it's the right size. So here's what we just created. I printed it out on the regular printer. We're just going to test it to make sure it's the right size. So I'll just cut out one of these pieces and I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut right just on the outside. I'm going to cut in as close as I can. All right. So here is what we're actually looking at. It looks pretty good. But you definitely want to measure this first. I'm going to tell you, this wasn't my first rodeo. Here's a whole bunch of other ones that I tested. So it's going to take you a couple of times. That's okay. You have to make sure that it's accurate. You have to make sure that that text is small enough that it will fit on that um, area that touches the table, that touches the surface. And it can't be, uh, you got to make sure it's not too large. If it's too large, it's going to go off on that curve. And that's not a good thing. So let's go and print this and reverse it, don't forget, on sub paper. Okay, here is the same print reversed on the sub paper. And now we are going to print this out. And then once we print it out, we're going to tape it to the bottom and we're going to sub it. And I will show you how, or at least how I do it. I'm glad I paid attention in scissor class in the second grade. It's coming in quite handy. All right, so here it is. We're going to put this on here. We're going to sublimate it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. So truth be told, I've never actually done this like this before. I tested it on our oven. 
and my wife was not very happy. It worked fine, but I don't know how safe it is. So I decided to go to Amazon and buy a Elite Gourmet Electric Single Burner. I have no idea if it's going to work, but we're going to try it and see. Okay. So you didn't know this was going to be an unboxing too, huh? It, this seems like it's going to work. All right. So we have a burner with a flat surface. Now, what's interesting is there's a little teeny area in the middle, but that's going to be, uh, that's not going to bother us. So let me take this little silver thing off just because I don't know why. I don't know why it's there. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to tape this to the bottom of the tumbler. I probably should be turning that on. I don't know if it'll get to the right temperature, but we're going to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, this part I have done before. I'm going to take this design that we've created and I'm going to go ahead and pre-tape it so I'm not moving it around a lot on the bottom of the tumbler. And now it's really important. It's really important that I get this. I'm trying to do it where you can see it as well, but where I get this as close to the center as possible. I can tell you right now, this file probably should have been a hair larger. I think that the inside is going to fade out. Yeah, I think, I think it is, but we're going to try it anyway. Right. We'll try it anyway. Okay. So push this down and then push this down and then. Okay. So that's what we've got. Again, I, I think we're going to, I think my design is going to be a little bit too small. I think I need, I'm going to need to expand it a little bit. We'll, but we'll try it. All right. So let me turn this thing on. Well, this thing's turning out to be a lot hotter than I thought. I was afraid it might not get up to 400 degrees, but it was at 600 pretty quick. So I'm actually waiting for it to lower. If you don't have one of these, you need one. I'll put a link in the description. I don't get paid for any of these links, but hopefully it'll help you out. Anyway, I think I got this one. I know I got this one from Harbor Freight. It was 10, 20 bucks, but it's going to give me an accurate reading. I'm at 450 now. So I'm going to give it just a, just a minute longer to cool down. Um, I'm shooting for around 400 degrees uh, and I'm probably going to have to play around with this because uh, I've never used it. At some point in time, it might go below 400, but I'm going to leave this on here for a minute. So if we can get it close to the right temperature, um, I'm going to go for it. Okay. We are at exactly 400 degrees, 399. So we're right where we need to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this on the center of this for one minute and we're going to hold our breath and see if it works. Okay. And you should make sure it's flat. I'm going to put, a decent amount of pressure on it and give it a minute. This is probably the most unscientific sublimation I've ever done. It's hovering at the 360 to 380. So hopefully it'll be enough. It's been about a minute. It's starting to get warm towards the bottom. So, I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to peel it. It's not hot here. I tell you, I can't believe that thing got so hot so quick. So I'm going to pull these edges. I'm trying to not. Oh, it's hot at the bottom. That's for sure. And let's see what we got. It's the first time doing it on the hot plate. So how did it come out? Ooh, it came out pretty good. What do you think? I can't see through. What do you think? Came out great. 
Handle with care, do not drop, avoid extreme heat, do not microwave. Now here's what's interesting. I thought it was going to be too, um, I thought it was going to be too small. And actually the only area where I'm getting just a little bit of challenge is not on either side. I don't know if you can see very well. I don't know if you can see very well. I'll, I'll, I'll take a shot of this and show you, but it came out quite well. This heating plate, this hot plate, far exceeded my expectations. I was concerned that it would not get up to 400. Now what I'm gonna have to do is figure out where the 400 degree is roughly on this so I don't have to keep moving it around. I'll still double check it with this until I get some um, idea. See, now it's down to 330, so I think it was just dropping. I'm not even sure if it's on right now. But I think it came out pretty good. You can put any information you want on here. Um, now I will take this tumbler and sublimate it. I'll let it cool down first, and once it's cooled down, it'll just go into my inventory with the other tumblers. Uh, websites are great to put on here. Um, the basic information like hand wash, the, the, all the things we put on it before. I am going to share this as a PNG file um, uh, in the description, so feel free to download it. But I do encourage you to go into Photoshop Elements or whatever program you have and create your own design. Um, I know right now I just use the, these little um, spacers. Uh, at one point I was playing around with it, I had little red hearts. I personally didn't like the color. I want it to be solid because I'm going to add a, a black rubber bottom to this and then it'll really look great. Okay, hold the phone. I found a different way to do this. I'll tell you, I was concerned about taping onto a tumbler that had already been sublimated. I was afraid I'd peel some of the design off. What happened though is by sublimating it, I did lose just a little teeny bit of the, here, let me see if I can get it for you. I did lose a teeny, teeny bit of the uh, darkness by putting the design on the bottom and then sublimating it. So what we're going to try to do here, and I think this is going to work. I got some craft bond and I, I think that you can get better. I don't have a lot of luck with this because oftentimes the head gums up and I get spurts, which will ruin anything. But I did just uh, spray this a minute ago. It might have, hopefully it's not too long ago. And I'm just going to set this on here. And um, it should stay on good enough for me to be able to get this thing sublimated. Now, I will tell you the hot plate has been a little tricky on getting a consistent temperature around where I need it. Um, so I'm just playing around with it. I, I don't know if I recommend this or not. I think the hot plate idea is fantastic. I'm just not sure if this is the right one. I'm still going to leave a link in the description for it, uh, but uh, it's been really difficult to get a good temperature around the range I want. Like right now, I had it earlier, it was 230 degrees consistent. And then before that, when I first turned it on, I had it about 480 uh, degrees consistent. So... I'm at 361 now, 365, 367. So I think it's going up. I'm going to go ahead and do this though. We're going to go ahead and put it on here and, um, and see what, it, what happens by doing it this way. Okay, it's a little hot. So it's been probably about 40 seconds. I'm going to pull it off. Now here's the good news. The good news is my original design did not uh, get messed up at all. Ooh, it's hot. The bad news is it didn't come out great. You can see hopefully on there where it, it um, blurred a little bit. However, I think this is probably going to be the way to do it. Uh, I don't think I had that on there quite as well. And I probably should have left it on. I probably should have left this on the, um, on the hot plate a little bit longer. Uh, I was also kind of moving it around and I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have just set it straight down and let it do its thing. Matter of fact, as I think about it, that's what happened. Anyway, this is another way to do it. I would suggest trying this way. Go ahead and do your sublimation and then use some sticky tacky uh, spray 
to pop it on the bottom. Just hold it steady when you're doing it and you should be fine. And now back to the regularly scheduled programming. I think it came out really good. Try it. Let me know what you think. Let me know how it works out for you. But don't forget to join our Facebook group. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe and follow us along as we do more. Hopefully really cool sublimation and more things. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic day. Because if it's too large, it can't be too large because if it is, then it's going to, if that makes sense. Afraid it might not. Now, back to the regular scheduled. <laughs> and now, back to the regularly. Back to the programming. <laughs>